a foreign intruder has been terrorizing trees worldwide in the US, Middle East, and now in South Africa. Hello everybody, my name is Emil Blanche. I'm from Glenwood House College, and today we'll be talking about the Pilophagus shot hole borer, or the wood boring beetle for short. Now the wood boring beetle can cause great amounts of damage to the environment. It is about two millimeters long, and is considered a great threat to the indigenous trees of South Africa. As you guys can see, this beautiful oak tree has been infected by the wood boring beetle, as you can see by the brownish blackish circles on its trunk. So an interesting fact that you might not have known is that it is not the beetle that kills a tree, it is the fungus that the beetle carries. The beetle enters a tree through the bark and creates tunnels lined with the spores of the fungus. This successfully cuts off the tree's vascular system, the leaves will start to become thin and brown at the end of the branches and the tree will eventually die. The beetle uses the fungus as a source of food for it and its larvae. As you guys can see, this is the big oak tree in front of the mother church that has been infected and died due to the virus. This tree is over a hundred years old and is a big part of George heritage. Loss of biodiversity is a serious problem to our environment. Thanks to the wood boring beetle, loss of biodiversity is dramatically increasing. It is important to control species like the wood boring beetle because of the negative effect it has on the environment. You can make a difference. As a start, treat any infected trees in your backyard. Spread the news about the wood boring beetle and encourage others to treat their trees as well. My name is Inelta Vlaas. I'm the key of Steenkamp. So I heard you were the guy to contact if you are interested in treating your trees that have been infected. Do you mind explaining to me how treatment takes place? First thing is we establish whether there is infection and on this tree you can clearly see there is an infected spot and we can make the assumption if there is one spot there will be a lot of border beetles in this tree. The treatment there are different ways of, of treating the problem. What we find the best is an injection system. We have designed an injection system and in the injection system we use both a fungicide combined with a, a systemic pesticide. We inject that into the tree and that will go into the tree through the, the water ducting vessels right up to the leaves and when it get in contact with the border it will kill the border. Uh, how long does this treatment usually take? It takes about a week and after a week we take the system off. It, we block all the holes where we put injectors into the tree. So what would the best advice be for homeowners? I think the best advice is check your tree, see signs of infection, act immediately because we can treat it and there's a very good chance of survival for your trees. Both these trees have been treated by Dr. Jaap Steenkamp. It is proof that treatment does work as they are both still alive Although treatment is not a once-off process, it is an ongoing process. Thank you guys so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed the video. And that was the problem of the Bora Beetle in South Africa in George.